We physicists have waited for 100 years, beginning around 1916, for this photograph. It is a nearby black hole, which might just be one of the most charming and puzzling characteristics in the universe. They are tremendous beasts concerning gravity, but simultaneously, for all intents and purposes, intangible to us, a black hole weighing perhaps two to four million times the mass of the sun. Anyway, considering the investigation that was placed into them over the last 20 or 30 years, we've gone from knowing, in a real sense, nothing about them to Dow's Gao 34, getting to figure out progressively more, exceptionally close. Also, things have recently gotten more crazy. M. Kaku recently detailed that we at last got a look at what's inside a black hole, and this new information sheds light on nuances the world of science could have missed from the beginning. Go along with us as we dig further into black holes and reveal what's inside. Space, it is tremendous and dreadful. What are black holes? Before we get into the nuance of what M. Kaku found, we have to talk about the basics. Although the vast majority of us have some idea of what black holes are, there are still a couple of gaps in the right information. You see, in 1916, Albert Einstein published his theory of general relativity, which predicted the existence of black holes. Around that time, the idea of black holes was totally theoretical. It required an extra 50 years for established researchers to find evidence that black holes, in fact, exist. This happened during the 1960s when they were studying the star X1, a magnificent body, and saw an oddly bright blue star that was emitting X-rays. This star was certainly not a lifeless object, but was orbiting a giant black something. Upon further assessment, it was seen that the X-rays weren't simply moving around on their own. They were being sucked into the black thing they were, orbiting. Thus, the name Black Hole. This discovery was enormous, since it gave proof that black holes truly exist, and they weren't just an invention of Albert Einstein's wild imagination. While that was incredible, it also meant that there was this fascinating substance in space that we urgently needed to learn more about. So scientists from one side of the planet to the next got to work. This black hole was named Cygnus X1 and it is situated in the constellation of Cygnus, about 6,000 light-years from Earth. It was no small discovery. It's many times brighter than the Sun and, of course, incredibly dense, which gives it a strong gravitational pull. The gravitational pull is so strong that not even light can escape it. For this reason, it is known as a black hole. The concept of a black hole is both charming and startling, it is a region of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Anything that gets too close to a black hole will be pulled into it, gone forever. However, that piece of danger makes it even more important to learn everything there is to know about them. Was this it? Or were we just beginning? The answer turned out to be the latter. After the discovery of Cygnus X-1, scientists began to search for other black holes. They found that there may be almost 100 million black holes in the Milky Way alone. However, since they are so incredibly difficult to identify, we still don't have an exact number. Apparently, there are a few million black holes in our own galaxy, which makes them even more important to study. 2. Or 3. So let's break it down. The main thing with black holes is always going to be gravity. Their gravitational pull is so extraordinary that anything that enters gets crushed down immensely. 0.0340 until it becomes a singularity. Black holes are like huge vacuum cleaners that take everything in. One of the scariest aspects of studying them is that if someone fell into one, they would reach a point where they become a singular line. This process would take time and the person would die before the true breakdown of reality took place. Let's just say that no one should step into one. But they're all over. So could we be in danger? Despite the fact that the Earth is nearly 500 light-years away, it's still close enough to raise many concerns. 
In 2021, researchers were able to produce the first clear photograph of a black hole, the M87 black hole. This black hole was captured over several nights, and with every photograph, the researchers gathered more and more evidence about it. They had to line up the individual photographs to fill in all the gaps, and in doing so, they were able to confirm that there are three layers to a black hole. It's not just one single expanding hole of nothingness, as many people believe. Things are much more complicated than that. To even get to the nothingness part of a black hole, you have to survive the first two layers. The event horizon, the final boundary. Once you pass it, moving forward is your only option. You'll be sucked into the black hole. The photon sphere, where light orbits the black hole. Any light that enters this region will be captured and cannot escape due to the gravitational force. The singularity, where everything that enters is compressed down enormously into a single point. It's a place where the laws of physics as we know them break down, and we cannot predict what happens next. Now what makes this worse is that each black hole you study is unique. If this were anything else, all we would need to do is bounce. Back on those telescopes and just review the basics in detail. However, with black holes, you can't actually do that. Scientists can study black holes indirectly by observing the radiation they emit and the gas and dust that surrounds them. However, sending a probe into a black hole is impossible because anything that enters the event horizon is pulled straight into the singularity where it is crushed into an infinitesimally small point. So you can't exactly waste billions of dollars just to get a glimpse, because the second the probe gets close enough, it will be sucked into nothingness. Because of that obvious problem, scientists are left with no choice but to study these objects in a two-dimensional manner, even though they are three-dimensional singularities. As a rule, to make matters even more challenging, there are also two additional issues. Each black hole is unique, and the laws of physics break down when we attempt to study their interiors. Conventional methods of scientific inquiry don't really apply to black holes. That doesn't mean scientists haven't been busy. There are lots of different theories and explanations for black holes, and with each one, things get more and more fascinating. One of the most compelling theories about the formation of black holes is that they are made from collapsed stars. When a star exhausts its fuel, it can no longer produce enough energy to counteract gravity. So the star begins to collapse on itself, contracting and becoming denser. If the star is massive enough, this process continues until it transforms into a singularity. To figure out the nature of black holes, NASA scientists turned their attention to the center of the universe, M87. Astronomers observed a powerful whirlpool of extremely hot hydrogen gas, spinning at a stunning speed of 1.2 million MOYPH. The sheer force of the gas disk should have caused it to fly apart, but it didn't. Scientists discovered that a massive object at the center was holding it together. That object? A black hole weighing as much as two to three billion suns. However, that's not the only theory. Eight seventeen. In describing a rotating black hole, physicist Roy Kerr showed that such a black hole wouldn't collapse into a point, but would instead form a ring of fire, a thin, rapidly rotating disk. The disk rotates so fast that outward forces prevent it from collapsing. This region, known as the ergosphere, surrounds the black hole and is where the laws of physics start to break down. The most interesting part of Roy Kerr's model was that it predicted the presence of an Einstein-Rosen bridge, also known as a wormhole. This is a hypothetical passage through space-time that connects two separate regions of the universe, or even two parallel universes. The idea is that if one were to fall into a black hole rather than being crushed, they would be sucked into a passage through the ring of fire and shot out a white hole into a parallel universe. To understand this, we need to look at the concept of space-time. 
In Einstein's theory, reality is not made of separate elements, but is interconnected, forming a four-dimensional fabric. Objects with mass warp this fabric, creating a gravitational field. Now imagine a piece of paper representing space-time. If you draw a line between two points, that represents how objects travel. But if you fold the paper in half, you could create a shortcut between the points. That's the idea behind a wormhole, a shortcut through space-time. Wormholes are not just science fiction. They're a prediction of general relativity. Although none have been observed, the theory allows for their existence. However, they are unstable and would likely collapse quickly. Still, the existence of an Einstein-Rosen bridge would mean that black holes could be gateways to other parts of space-time. Could we use a wormhole to travel through existence? Unfortunately, the answer is probably no, not yet. Even if we could stabilize a wormhole, it's unlikely we could use it to travel faster than light. Einstein's special relativity predicts that the speed of light is a hard limit. 10446. However, wormholes and black holes as pathways through the universe, or even through time, remain subjects of deep interest among physicists. One of the most fascinating ideas in this field is the CR wormhole, named after the mathematician Roy Kerr. This hypothetical tunnel through space time could connect distant points, universes, or times. The CR wormhole is shaped like a ring, like the mirror in Alice in Wonderland. It could theoretically transport a traveler to another universe or another time where the laws of physics may be different. The possibility is exciting, but highly debated. Wormholes, and especially black holes, may be too unstable or too surrounded by extreme radiation and quantum effects to cross safely. Einstein's equations describe gravity, not quantum forces. So to truly understand black holes, we need a theory that unites both. This is called the theory of everything. Theoretical physicist Michio Kaku has worked on such a theory for years. One version that has shown promise is superstring theory. It combines gravity with the quantum theory of radiation. The idea is that all subatomic particles are actually tiny vibrating strings, and the universe is a grand symphony of these vibrations. One of the intriguing consequences of superstring theory is the notion that our universe may have more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. In fact, the mathematics of superstring theory suggests there could be as many as 10 or 11 dimensions. Most of these extra dimensions are compactified, curled up so tightly that we don't notice them in everyday life. But in the extreme environment of a black hole or a wormhole, these hidden dimensions might open up, revealing an entirely new structure of reality. If this is true, then black holes aren't just destructive anomalies. They may be keyholes into the very fabric of existence, gateways to hidden dimensions and parallel realities. And if wormholes exist, they may serve as bridges through these higher dimensional spaces, possibly offering passage to other worlds, times, or even universes governed by entirely different physical laws. Physicists like Michio Kaku believe that, if superstring theory is correct, then a unification of the forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, the strong and weak nuclear forces, is not only possible, but inevitable. This unified theory would offer answers to some of the deepest questions humanity has ever asked. What happened before the Big Bang? Is time travel possible? Are there other universes with different versions of ourselves? While these ideas may sound like science fiction, they are rooted in advanced physics. And each discovery, each clearer photograph of a black hole, each detection of gravitational waves, each refinement of particle behavior at quantum scales brings us closer to unlocking these secrets. The journey is far from over. With the Event Horizon Telescope continuing its observations and space agencies investing in more powerful observatories, the next few decades may usher in a new era of black hole science, one where we no longer fear these cosmic giants. But understand them as the portals and foundations of an even more magnificent universe than we ever imagined.